camera is called the Hero 11 and it was brought out I think in 2023 and today we're going to start talking about star trails one of the important things about star trails is you've got two settings on this camera you've got easy controls and you've got pro controls and the star trails topic is not available in easy controls so anyway go, going back here this is the main menu of the camera and we're going to set pro easy controls to pro controls and then tap out and now we have in the time lapse section of the camera we have time lapse and then we have these menus like star trails time warp light painting vehicle lights time lapse night lapse each of these is a bit of a conundrum in itself quite interesting i love light painting um, and I, I find that that's been one of my interesting ones over the last year uh, time warp is what we're going into or star trails is what we're going into and i'm going to show you the settings in there really quickly so star trails is to do with getting either tracks of the stars or a time lapse that's sensitive enough to pick up the stars okay so uh, first thing we want to talk about is the iso min and max and our iso min and max is 1600 iso iso is the speed at which the color burns onto the or the light burns onto the film um so 1600 min and max fixed and the reason we do that is because the we want it to be a uniform brightness throughout our time lapse. The star trials, uh, especially the spiral ones, are dependent on the fact that the Earth rolls like this and the stars move. So if you face south, you're going to see the stars rotate like this. And if you face north, they rotate like this. So north and south gives you the spiral. If you're facing any other direction, you won't get these spirals. And you'll see here, there's an option called trail length. And trail length short will give you a very short dot. So it will follow the stars and you'll see the stars moving like a time lapse. No trails behind them is what short trails means. The long trails is quite interesting. It's nice for things that move in the sky. But if you want the spirals, you want never ending, a continuous capture of the light trail. And uh, so that's the max setting on the trail length. And the other important thing to, to understand is the shutter. So you have 10 seconds or five seconds to set your camera to, depending on the light that's available and how many stars you want to see. By setting the shutter to 10 on max trail length, you will get bright tracks of stars like a record, like lines, like uh, concentric lines as the stars move. Again, facing south, you don't have to find the southern point in the sky, but it helps. Uh, the other thing to realize with star trails is you can't have any light at all. Uh, you can't be walking around with a head torch on. You can't be going out to check it can't go out to see is it still running um, so what I tend to do is I tend to another very important thing with star trails is you you want the light on the back so you'll see this flashing light on the back you want that light on the back so that you can see the camera from a distance without affecting what that you can see that it's still recording but you don't want it on the front you don't want any lights or LEDs on the front. And it's important to turn all that stuff off. It's, it's handy in some situations, but not really good at Star Trails because the, the red light is going to light up things on front of it. The screen from the camera is going to light up things on front of it. So um, when it comes to, I think it's this setting, front screen options is off. And I believe there's another setting. I'm not sure it's here. Now it's further into the camera. So it is in uh, preferences, general, and it's LEDs, front off only. 
with these star trails you get a second or two of video i think people when when they watch the video back they go hang on a second this thing has been recording for an hour how come i've only got a second of video some of the star trails that i do they take all night they take consistently changing the camera uh, swapping out the batteries and stuff like that uh, to be continuous um, it's difficult or you have to uh, feed some sort of power but i wouldn't recommend this uh, feeding power to a camera when it's outdoors it's the, the camera does not like this at all i haven't tried it with the the shutter doors that you can put the the cable in but i just work with with just battery um so that's that's the way i work the other thing i do is i stable mount the camera so i put it on something and i'll mount the camera on an extension arm or a weight and i'll point it at the sky and now i don't have a rotating like that but uh, i'll have it on a weight and that weight means that it doesn't move there's no wobbles there's no shaky table and that's what star trails needs okay so hope you enjoy that i hope it wasn't too long and this video is for uh, hiking outdoor family and any of my friends who are interested in the time lapse star trails stuff um, i hope just let me know if there's any other information you need thank you